Hey everybody, welcome back. We made it. We are now in 1991. And thanks to The Past is Alive and John Japs, who donated this box uh, a while back. And uh, I'm able to get into it. 36 packs. This is the set. This is one of the most, very most disliked sets. The yellow, bright cards but they have the sickest inserts that uh my favorite inserts honestly of any year just about these inserts are pretty epic as far as i'm concerned and of course you still have the nolan ryan's the barry bonds the griffies you still have all these guys in here and bo jackson cal ripkin jr so we're not going to waste any time 36 packs 14 cards per pack Let's see, I'll show you this one. It's in very good shape. As you see, it's got a sticker as Fleer always does. It's a Cub sticker on the back. So, this is the outside. This is something that I'll be looking for here, art cards. This unique limited edition is randomly packed into wax and three packs, every star player portrait artwork huh so I don't know a lot about it honestly I'm just I had this box I've been staring at it it's been eating away at me so I've been ready to get in 1991 we finally made it we did a great job in 1990 and now we're going to start 1991 and I'm so looking forward to it of course the key rookies in 1991 are going to be Mike Mussina and Chipper Jones unfortunately those did not make this list so let's see if our 14 cards and this beautiful beautiful yellow and we'll see if we can't locate some of these key cards and help me figure out all the rookies there's a Wade Boggs and I will start collecting the cards back here in the back and I'll figure out my best three when I get to the end. Yes, John Jab sent me this box. As a, I guess it was an FMF response. He's off center pretty bad on that one. And uh, like I said, it's, it's time to open it. Zane Smith. I think John wants that card. I think it's his favorite player of all time. Andy Bennis. That was actually one of his favorite players. So, off center on this one, but no one to speak of yet. I will hopefully find. I'm not sure. I guess these inserts are in these uh, wax packs. We'll see. There he is. And there he is with an insert behind him. Severely off center. Cal Ripken Jr. We have got our first Ripken of 1991, and the Mike Greenwell is the only one I actually have already. I got it from a Jabs family um, Patreon package. I pulled it out, so there is a nice card. The Griffey Jr. Bonds, also off-center, but maybe we'll get some centered up here. Sandberg and Fielder, Jamie Moyer, packs are in really good shape, they've not sticking real bad on the back, so you don't have to flip back and forth, you just have to look at the yellow and get through it. Travis Prime, and there's a Ventura. Of course, now we're in second year. He was a card I was looking for in 1990 as a rookie. So, there's Avery's second year. So, this is doing it this way has really helped me kind of zero in on my Ripken cards and uh, also keep up with the rookies and who's a rookie and what year and 
It's been a lot of fun doing it this way. There's our closers, uh, top game savers, Franco and Thigpen. There's a Chris Sabo. He's thinned it up a lot better than the other cards. There's a McGuire, which will be going to my buddy Jay Hadley, who I collect my McGuire's for. He sends me his Ripkins. I send him McGuire and Griffey and Yachty Melina and Frank Thomas, which Frank Thomas should be in this set as well. Second year Frank Thomas. There's a Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Jack Clark. So, so far, a few cards. I'd like to see a few of these inserts. I really, I love the inserts. I probably didn't profile the Mike Greenwell long enough because I actually already have him, but if I get another one here, I'll get a better look at it. There's a Winfield. He's a Hall of Famer. Doc Gooden. Getty. Eckerson, Hall of Famer. There's a Caminiti. I, just, I wasn't sure what Caminiti's rookie year is. I guess it'll be 89. Since I started in 90, I just missed it. But rest in peace to Ken Caminiti. Clear did a good job putting those stickers on the back. There's some Van de Van Slyke. There's a Hall of Famer Greg Maddox. Marquise Grissom, second year. All right, that's a stack one. We got one insert. We got a Ripken. We got a McGuire. We got a Boggs. Nice and tight in here. There's a Baltimore Oreo sticker. Yes, I'm still a kid. I still keep my Baltimore Oreo stickers. There's a Hall of Famer George Brett. And a Hall of Famer Alan Trammell. And there's brother Billy Ripkin. As ripping for Ripkins continues its success with two Ripkins in the first two stacks. Al Newman. There's a Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. This is Griffey's third year, followed by Jose Canseco. So, put these two up on the shelf, but Griffey will now take the front spot. Biggio, another keeper card. <sighs> As we're sitting here in the middle bit of winter, these cards will make good burning pile after I'm done pulling all these great cards out of here. 
So people hate this set, but there is a, there's still a lot of cards in here that I feel are of good value. And obviously there's a lot of cards that have no value, which is junk wax in a nutshell. You just, you have to dig through it. You have to go through your stash and see what you got. Pete Harnish leading it off. There's a Juan Gonzalez, second year card. Of course, I've kept all his cards because I started 1990s with his rookie year. And there is Frank Thomas's. And he is centered up quite nicely. Quite nicely. Let me give him another look over. Yeah, I think I will. I have been PSA grading all my Frank Thomas cards. So that's a nice Frank Thomas. I put him up there with the Griffey. He centered up quite nice. There's a Mike Greenwell base. He is, of course, the only one I have in the insert. I was hoping to have another insert to show by now, but I haven't as of yet. I'm hoping I get one per stack, you know, maybe four out of this box. The Oakland Athletics sticker. Hmm. Need to flip it over. Interesting. I don't want to make this a long rip. I just want to rip through this box. I'm super excited to be doing this. I said I, I have to order boxes right before I break them because I cannot sit on them for very long. So this one has sat here a little longer than most. But I generally get at least one pack of this 91 Fleer in my uh, Jabs Family Patreon package. And then there, I buy a lot, of, uh, a lot of boxes from Walgreens. So I get a lot of uh, 88 Donruss, 90 Donruss, 91 Fleer in those uh, repackaged boxes as well. So there's a Larry Walker second year card. I've also been saving him and he is centered up nicely as well. Very happy about that. So we're almost halfway done. I got one insert so far. And that is the Mike Greenwell. And I will show that card in a minute because I want to see how many of those cards there are. I'm very curious as to how many you get out of a box. I'm hoping four. And every once in a while they flip. Maybe they started a new sheet. So last pack and we're halfway. Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Randy Johnson, third year card. Here's Donnie Baseball. Always keeping Donnie Baseball. And Mr. Jim Abbott, I keep Jim Abbott. It's a good picture of him. A lot of times you don't, you didn't get to see the the glove on there, but always been a fan of John, Jim Abbott. And like I said, it's still, I believe there should be a movie made about him. But debuted in 1989. Top amateur athlete, 1989. Yeah, so he wasn't just a, uh, Pitcher. I mean, he 
a one-handed pitcher. He was a good pitcher. So we're gonna take a look at this sweet insert. They're black border, so it makes them tough, especially on the grading. You can see the white up in this corner. But it's eight out of twelve, so there are eleven other ones in this set. I'm just hoping that you know there's more than one per box. I'm really I'd, I'd like to get a few of these cards. And on the back is a sticker of multi-team sticker. Looks like my first Steve Sachs card, so maybe we'll get some new players in this one. There's a Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. Kent Herbert. David Wells and Steve Sachs. That's Dave Wells. That's before he got chunky and became Boomer. Cubby's sticker. Sammy Sosa, second year card. Very nice. Roger Clemens. He's centered up pretty nice too. All the Clemens cards are. I said, I'm holding on to them because I believe the value, he's going to get in the Hall of Fame one day. And Freddie Lynn with some kind of. Something in the middle is in there, but yeah, seven times Sung Cy Young winner, one of the greatest pitchers of all time, Roger Clemens. He'll definitely get in. I know there's a lot of, I think, as the old guard kind of gives up the, the voting and isn't as involved anymore, I believe that. Time will heal all wounds and bonds, and it may start with the. Uh... Hey, there's a nice one. Kirby Puckett. Like I said, it's one of the best insert sets, in my opinion. He's off center, left to right, top to bottom. But it's still one of my favorite insets, insert sets of all time. So there's two. And I consider these packs a win when you get those insert. There's, there's very few chase cards in this. You know, I still want to see a Bo Jackson, even though I've, I've got the 91 clear Bo Jackson, but I still would like to pull it out of here. Uh, I believe I also pulled that out of my Patreon package. Because I get about one pack every month from him, and then I get another. There's not a Donnie baseball. Then I get a few out of these uh, Fairfield boxes. Another Jim Abbott. I feel like if I can keep two cards out of each pack, it would be a win. Hall of Famer again. Randy Johnson Hall of Famer again. So I got two cards out of that pack. But very nice wax. They definitely figured out the wax in 1991, especially in this box. I don't know where John got it from, but it was very well taken care of. And on top is a Sammy Sosa second year. Roger Clemens again. So there's my two cards in that pack. So not disappointed in the last few packs. I've been able to keep at least two cards. And I, Freddie Lynn apparently just had that printing glitch right there on him. Sandberg, so that's four. Four cards. I wouldn't say Hall of Famers, they're not all Hall of Famers, but 
I think if you're going by numbers, they have Hall of Fame numbers. You got Sosa and Clemens who both on their home run and strikeout win totals could be Hall of Famers. Honeycutt, Tomlin. I like to see a Puckett base card as well. That's the third time I think I've gotten that card. Bo Jackson would be good. Who else am I missing? Barry Bonds. I haven't gotten the Barry Bonds out of here. I do have the Barry Bonds. Well, I don't know if I still have it or not. I've been sending off my Bonds cards to kind of doing a trade. And this is the first wax that actually stuck. But again, they put the sticker on the back, which is genius. And Mr. Ripken is on the back. We'll enjoy him as soon as we get there. Maybe he'll be uh, centered up a little better this time. Fryman and Ventura. I've been keeping my Venturas because he was a rookie. Avery. I'm only keeping the Avery rookie cards. And there's Mr. Ripken again. He looks like he might be a tad better, but still same cut. All right. Last pack of stack number three. And I'll have to go back through and check check over these rookies again because um, I haven't gotten myself familiar with the the lower tier rookies. There's a Mark McGuire taking some kind of batting practice because he has no helmet on. Maybe a home run derby type card right there. Hmm. I don't know why I stuck him up there. And it all comes crashing down. There we go. So two inserts and three stacks. all of these before it came down so okay final stack looking for bonds jackson would be the two cards i'd say i want to pull out of there maybe another insert oh i didn't show you the back of these all of these had like the uh this is the mariners top 10 because this was a mariners card so it's like home runs, batting average. This is all time, it looks like. So I'll show you another card when we get to it. I, I really enjoyed that as a kid, looking at those stats. And I'll go dig the Orioles one out here in a little while. There's a Lugo. This is second year. Or is it rookie card? That's his rookie card, 91. He's off bad. We'll hold on to him. So maybe he's on that second tier of rookies. And blah 11. So some bad cuts on these right here. grab this Orioles card right here. We're going to take a look at it. The top 10 batting average to see home runs. Yeah, so this would be your all-time Eddie Murray, Boog Powell, Brooks Robinson, Kyle Ripken at the time was 204. Of course, he passed by all those numbers and became, you know, four, 400 and he ended up with over 400 home runs. Jim Palmer, you know, Hall of Famer. Dave McNally. Uh, Mike Mucinas would be on this list. 
in a few years. If he just stayed there, he would have been he would have been challenging Jim Palmer. But Jim Palmer was one of the greatest pitchers of his generation. And then of course Cal Ripken is on the batting average as well. So along with Murray, Ken Singleton, Al Bummery, and John Lowenstein made a list. So that's your top tens all time, but it's pretty pretty cool. I'd love to see those come out now because they have so many stat lines nowadays, but those all time leaders is just, you know, the best as far as I'm concerned. So we're still looking for inserts. Maybe the Bonds and the uh, Bo Jackson. Another second tier rookie card possibly that I missed out. I'm not really sure who the best rookie in this set would be because you don't have the chipper and the Messina. So not really sure who would be the best. I will know shortly because I will go through these with a fine tooth comb before I discard them. There's a Ozzy Smith. First time seeing Ozzy. Maybe we'll find a few different players in here. I figured this would be about a 30 minute break, but I've kind of been enjoying the cards and Bob Welch was a good pitcher back in this era. Mike Boddicker, former Oriole. And we gotta flip him around again. Kevin Moss, that would be his second year card. But he will have his 1990 stats on there. Twenty-one home runs in seventy-nine games. Eighteen home runs in his first two hundred at bats. You want to become a mega superstar? Play for the Yankees and do that in your first two hundred at bats. That will become the pressure just became insane for that guy. But if you look, does it show what he was drafted? Because he was drafted very late. No, it doesn't. But I think he was drafted in like 20-some round. Maybe he was really a late draft pick. There's a Bobby Bow and a Larkin. And somebody I've never heard of, Joe Bitker. Hmm. Never heard of him. So five, step, five packs left. Let's see if we can find us another insert. Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson. I see a Hall of Famer at the back of the pack. There's another Hall of Famer, Puckett. So we're gonna get at least two keepers out of this one. And there's your Carlton Fisk, the other Hall of Famer. Lance Parrish. Tino Martinez, this would be his second year card. He was his rookie year was 1990. As far as baseball cards go. And there's the Barry Bonds. There we go. So nice Barry Bonds. I said Nolan Ryan, Barry Bonds, Bo Jackson. Those would be the three big cards in the stack. And there's Tino staying down on the ground ball, just like he should. Let's see if we can grab another insert, maybe a Nolan Ryan. We got an Astros. Of course, Nolan Ryan was with the Rangers. There's Roberto Alomar, he's a Hall of Famer. First time seeing him. Kevin Bass. 
All right, two packs left. And I'm closing in on my half hour that I was hoping to do this in. And Greg Swindell. Oh, I think I've got an insert. Boom. Daryl Strawberry. Nice. So my third insert in the box. So it looks like I'm going to end with three. Bernard Gilkey. I'll send that off to Jonathan H. Might go ahead and send it to Jeb. Let him forward it along. There's a Tim Raines Hall of Famer. Yes, Charlie Huff is 1991 and he's still pitching. And there's a Smoltz Hall of Famer. And there's the Greg Swindell. So Gilkey and Swindell, <clears throat> same pack. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can get a Ryan or Jackson. Finish off this 1991 Fleer box in style. We're gonna end it with Marty Barrett. Bo Jackson, yes. So we'll stick him up here. Oh, I'll stick him over here. I can't cover up Barry Bonds. <coughs> and Joe Clink and Eric Plunk at the same time. That's pretty, pretty unique. Brady Anderson and I did get four out of the box. This is Ed. Eric Davis. So. Four inserts. I love that insert set. Nice. May just buy another box just to get the inserts. But so no, no Nolan Ryan. But honestly, uh, Griffey, Bonds, Jackson, most every Hall of Famer, two Cal Ripkins, four inserts. Man, you can't go wrong on a 1991 flare break. Thank you guys for checking this out. Um, appreciate your support and and you're taking your time to check out this break. Like I said, I'm pretty good. I mean, you're not gonna get much better in a 1991 flare. So thanks for watching. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. We're going through 1991. We're gonna search out these packs and boxes and go through and try to find the man and all these insert and rookie cards as we go. I mean, I. Uh, it's it's going to be an incredible journey, and I'm glad you're here to watch it with me. And until next time, later.